Tinibu finally exposed. U.S. lawyer confirms how Tinibu forged certificates. He changed these things. Breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular channel. You know, I must tell you for the fact that if I were to be Bola Ahmed Tinibu, by now I would have told the Chicago State Court what I did and probably whatever manipulation I did, at least to save my face and probably to save himself from this impending uh, doom or probably punishment that might come for him. I must tell you for the fact that this particular man, as a, as a matter of fact, has been living a fake life to the extent that everything about him is being questioned. His identity, his gender, his certificates, a whole lot of things have been questioned about him till date. Nobody, none of Tinibu's classmates, starting from primary school, secondary school, university, even at this Chicago State University, can come out to say that, as a matter of fact, that Tinibu was his or her classmate. Nobody. Nobody can come out to vouch for him. Nobody came out to say that, look at my classmate, that Tinibu was my classmate, my seatmate, or even my roommate. From primary to tertiary school, university level, and Tinibu is claiming that all of them died during the war. Even the one that attended Chicago State University is claiming that those ones equally died during the war. But that is not the case today. The case is that, as a matter of fact, a USA lawyer has finally confirmed and exposed that all the documents, as a matter of fact, that Bola Tinibu has been claiming that it was authentic or is authentic are automatically fake and they were manipulated. You know, I will show you how the US lawyer, as a matter of fact, proved this particular case. And there is no way Bola Tinibu is going to escape this particular uh, 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 exposition that came for him. I must tell you for the fact, well, before I dive into the cross of this particular matter to expose what this US lawyer said, Please, if this is your first time of coming here, please do well to click on like. That is the only way you support us here. And equally share and equally click on the notification button. Just click on like so that you become one of us and equally, you know, support what we are doing here. Now, let's head straight to the point. I told you today that a U.S. lawyer hired by Atuka Abubakar actually finally confirmed and exposed as a matter of fact that Tinibu submitted fake certificates. And the question is, why would a man go and print and manipulate a fake certificate to submit to INEC to tell you the rascality and the, 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 the level of corrupt, corrupt, uh, corruption and everything that happens in this country? The Tinibu cannot submit this fake certificate that he submitted to INEC to any other body uh, or international body. But because he knew that he can buy his way through the INEC, he, he, and, and through the Nigerian institutions and everything, he went and printed a fake certificate from online, manipulated it, and submitted it to INEC, which is very, 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 very pathetic. Well, thank God that this U.S. lawyer has actually exposed uh, him. Well, this particular U.S. lawyer, as we all know, uh, is uh, and uh, his name is uh, articles. His articles comes from his name is Angela Angela Liu. You know, why speaking in response to a submission by Tinibu's lawyer blaming an unknown clerical officer for the differences in his uh, CSU being Chicago State University certificate? You know, what, and when this article comes from being Angela Liu, who is a U.S. citizen uh, and a U.S. lawyer. You know why he was responding to the flimsy and the funny excuse given to uh, given by Parliament you know, that all the errors and mistakes in his certificates were caused by a clerk that that issued the certificate you know it was it sounded so funny and so pathetic that Tinibu as a matter of fact is blaming a clerk that that, that it was a clerk that made a mistake in changing his fonts the 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 date he graduated the signatories only for his own results so why other people that graduated with him had perfect results and you know a complete results which is which followed the CSU format and everything but only his results were was different you know this article's lawyer said it is a lie he now she now come down to expose this but I mean, but now look at what this Angela Liu said being articles council she said something that Angela Liu said she Angela, Angela Liu says that CSU has provided two similar certificates indicating that interim president Bola Tinibu attended his, his institution. Now, people should know that we are not arguing whether CSU, being at Chicago State University, has a certificate named Bola Ahmed Tinibu. We know that the CSU certificate has a document or a certificate named Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Now, the question is who is this particular Bola Ahmed Tinibu? Like I told you, that the Bola Ahmed Tinibu that attended this particular university identified as a female. And he is a black American citizen. So we are not in doubt whether CSU has a, a name of Balame Tinibu. They have it in their database, but the problem is who is really the owner of this particular name. So uh, Angela Liu said that CSU has provided two similar certificates for that, that CSU gave them two similar certificates for uh, this particular. Uh, indicating that the, that uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu attended its institution, which the Bola Ahmed Tinibu, we are claiming, is not the president of this particular, allegedly the president, because we have not, not really confirmed whether it is the same president that we have now. 
Now, according to Angela Liu, the documents marked, as you can see, there was a, a document he presented, which are the original and fake documents that Enable submitted. Now, people should know that the document marked A, as you can see on the screen, is the certificate submitted by Tinibu to INEC. Now, this certificate is in every material respect exactly the same as the document marked B, except for the following. The document marked B, as a matter of fact, is the document and the format that Chicago State University normally issues their certificate out with, while the document marked A is the forged, in fact, the forged certificate that Tinibu, as a matter of fact, submitted to INEC. Now, look at what this particular woman said. The woman said that document A is signed by at least three people, which is the document that Tinibu submitted to INEC, was signed by at least three people, whereas B is signed by only two people. Now, the document that Tinibu submitted to INEC was signed by three people. Why the one he submitted to, uh, why the one that they got from Chicago State University was only signed by two people? And there is no way certificates will vary in such a way. Now, who is this third person that actually penned down his, his or her signature on the document that Tinibu submitted to INEC? You could see the rascality in this our judicial in this our in the country. Tenibu went and manipulated and brought a certificate and it was signed by three people. Why the normal certificate issued by CSU is, is normally signed by two people. Now people should know that the document marked E, which is another document, states that Tenibu was issued a certificate. Listen, Tenibu was issued a certificate on twenty second June nineteen seventy nine, but then proceeded to forward a copy of a certificate B dated twenty seventh June nineteen seventy nine. Now you can see the discrepancies. Some of the documents have that the, that the document or the result was issued to Tinibu on twenty second June nineteen seventy nine, which he claimed he graduated. Now another document, you know, indicated that uh, uh, it was on twenty seven June nineteen seventy nine. Why these discrepancies of date and, uh, and and the time he graduated? First of all, uh, I've, I've shown you how this woman proved that the the, the, the different signatures indicate indic indicates that one of the documents was forged. Which is definitely the document submitted to INEC. Now, the, another discrepancy is the date contained in those documents. One st stated that it is it was on twenty second June, while the other one it stated that it was on twenty seventh, uh, uh, twenty seventh June, nineteen seventy nine. Now, people should know that it is clear that either the documents A or B, either the one is submitted to INEC or the one he got from the Chicago State University is fake, or even the both might be fake. You cannot have two certificates issued by the same university to the same person for the same course of study, but issued on different dates and signed by two different sets of people. Now, people should know that the documents A and B both states that Tinibu graduated with a BSc in Business and Administration. The documents Tinibu submitted to INEC and the other one that he claimed he obtained, you know, state that Tinibu graduated with BSc in Business and Administration, whereas documents E, which is the which which is the authentic document that came from. Uh, the Chicago State University states that he graduated with BSc in Business Administration and not Business and, and, and Administration. The document Tinibu submitted to INEC and the one he presented indicated that he graduated with BSc in Business and Administration. Why this particular university does not even offer any course known as Business and Administration, rather they offer a course known as Business Administration. So in the document that this particular lawyer being articles council got from Chicago State University, what Chicago State University has is Business Administration. And the, uh, he went. For, she went further to say that the College of Business offers a contemporary business program leading to a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration or Masters in Business Administration. Nowhere is there any reference to, to nowhere is there any reference to business and administration throughout the website, which is what I told you. There's no there's no course like business and administration in CSU. Additionally, it was not possible for a Norona D. Daniel to be among those. This, this was among those who signed the fake document that Tinibu submitted to INEC, Daniel, in order Daniel, to be among those who signed both certificates because she she was only the president of the university between 1998 and 2008. Meaning the, this particular person that signed some of the documents that Tinibu presented was not even employed when Tinibu was actually uh, 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 when Tinibu actually graduated, but his signature was even in the 1979. Meanwhile, this particular person started work in 1998, so many years after. And he stopped work in 2008. Now, the document that Tinibu got in 1979 and the one he presented in 2022 has the name of this and signature of this particular man. Meanwhile, this particular man was not even in the picture when those documents were issued to him. So, how come his name was there and signatory was there? So, she was neither the president of the investor in 1979, which is what I have clearly stated. So, this particular lawyer expressed his dismay that these documents are authentically formed and forged by Tinibu, and which is very simple and clear as ABC. You could see the discrepancies and everything. Well, I would like you guys to drop
Let's in the comment section tell me what you think about this exposition.